Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the Red World Fan Folk Mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. Jeb Lover. In which right now, it's not where we left off. It's 2015, February, and I've been doing a lot of focuses off-screen, mostly to do the military ones, salute the sail sailors, and open sea tactics, and hidden Americans, which, as you can see on screen, there's a lot of description here, but we also salute the pilots, modern technology, we got fighter focus, we got modern strategies, bomber focus, drone focus, renewed doctrines, and vessels of the open sea, Destructive potential, a disciplined navy, carriers, and a target of the enemy. But, and we will go over these focuses very, very soon, especially regarding uh, monitoring versus liberty and review the separation versus secular America, which has its pros and cons. But it's taken us a while to get to this point right now against good old, uh, who is this again? <clears throat> Bernard Sanders. So, we've lost quite a few guys. But we have killed quite a few more, as, as, as you can see on screen. So, overall, not too bad. I did use... Uh, where, where are the tanks? Tanks to high effectiveness. Very high effectiveness, if possible. Even though I wish we had more tanks. But maybe that's just me. Let's crush them here. And have a good old time. And then send you guys all the way over to uh, Ann Arbor. Which, actually, I've been to Ann Arbor before, huh? It's not a dump truck place. But that's okay. we got quite a few comms to go, so... <clears throat> Apparently someone says, there's a building that'll give us more research speed. Huh, interesting. Oh, hello. That looks really weird in Indiana, but whatever. Um, yeah, there probably is. It's probably... What building is that? It's probably this building. Uh, research Center? I'd like to build that, but we'll get there in just a little bit. I want to make sure we can have a, more, a bigger industry first before we actually do that, so... Uh, you guys going to? I'm out. I'm out. Cut them off and on ABBA completely and just let them rip. Because they should... Pretty much just kill them all off. We're doing some fire brigades. We'll get some backhand blows. We'll have a good old time and blow the enemies away. We're not going to blow them, but we're going to blow them away. Uh, Detroit would be very nice. Hidden Americans. Cool. And we'll talk about those focuses in just a little bit. I don't feel like talking about them right now, but look at that enemy. Uh, kill them off if you dare. Oh, and we do dare. Oh, very good. Keep these guys in place. Don't give them too much more organization yet. Lansing, I've been through once, never been in, but through, which is very nice. Ah, oh, beautiful. Thank you. Nice. Alright, so we don't need to guard this area either. So, we have to move anywhere. It'll be through Ohio, which I've been through Ohio once or twice, a few times. Every time I've been there. It was definitely Ohio. But, yeah, we're, as you can see, we're really out of tanks, which is kind of crazy, but hey. It's alright, as long as the tanks don't die, we're okay with it. As long as we still have our division, that's all that matters to me. Improved drone? Oh, we love drones. We love bombing children. Sometimes, you gotta do what you gotta do, especially as a bush. Head on down here, and we're gonna attack from the other side if we possibly can as well. Very nice. Anything else here? Better drones? Yes, please. Drone it up, baby. Diplomatic techniques. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Massachusetts. Yeah, fighting this guy is kind of a pain in the tuchus, but you know what? That's okay. We just encircled five enemy divisions. That's southeast of Indianapolis, which is very good. Nice. And Cincinnati. Oh, that's actually really good, too. <clears throat> Give us some time. We'll get there in just in a, just in a wee bit. Uh, crossing River sucks. Whatever. Three, two, one. Let's go in and kill off more tanks. There you go. Not bad. And then just go here. Just go and go in. You should be fine. Five divisions should go bye bye, and tanks looking super bad, but that's okay. Ah, ah, they change in generals. Ah, very, very nice. I want to come here next. Go bing bong boom. A good Akron. I always forget Akron is a city. I always forget that. Always. Since we got that one done, now I'll throw on the research center because someone wanted us to. I, I I don't know what benefits gives us. It says it gives us better research, but... I guess that's the truth. I guess. Did I get the enemy? Uh, follow with vessels of the open seas. Jeb is my spirit animal, and it will always be that way. Nice. You guys just hold. Yay! We could do a general attack, but then again, our tanks are not looking great. And I do want to make sure we can go through that their area fairly quickly, so. Let's go in. Ooh. 
four divisions is quite a few divisions, man. Quite a few. But if we can win here, we could probably win almost anywhere. Can they pierce us? Somewhat. Honestly, it's probably best to just go and combine you guys into one division. God dang it, it's only one. Yay, we made it. Let's go in. You, Shelton? No? Okay. Hey, a couple more divisions been circled. Yay! Go all in if you can. Not bad, Columbus. Columbo, my dear boy. <sighs> Take away their only victory point. Ooh, more factories. Oh, they died. I love it when they die. Just get so happy when you see them perish. Actually, just a little bit for them. That's fine. And it's some rubber, too. Now we're going to be out of uh, civvies, but whatever. No, not really, but still. I'm going to push into Pennsylvania. So they've lost over 2 million. They've up to 23 divisions left. 20-ish divisions. It's fine, whatever. Uh, so I'm happy you guys here, too. Uh, okay, I'll build one. There you go. And there you go. There you go. Go, speedy boys. Go, go, go. And you're really speedy. Nice. Help them out. Yay! They died. Do I see Pittsburgh? I've never... Actually, I might have been through Pittsburgh before, but I can't remember. Navy stuff, decisive battle, anti-sub, decisive battle. How fast, how good are these motorized divisions, actually? Uh, they're okay. Turn your combo with, get some logistics. Um, armored recon's fine as well. We'll invest in them as two, so that's fine. Uh, there you go. More output, why not? Oh, hello, oh, we're losing here now. That's quite not ideal, is it? Nice, there you go. We should move down there too. I mean, you look really bad, but just because we increased your strength, so. Hey, a second tank division, yay! Oh, happy day. Help them out. They need a little bit of love too. And then destructive potential. Alright, we should be able to move in here now. Charleston, nice. Oh, church shooting. The Charleston church shooting was a mass shooting that took place at Emmanuel African Methodist Episcopal Church in downtown Charleston, South Carolina. During a prayer service, nine people, including the senior pastor, State Senator Clementa C. Pinkney, were killed by gunman Dylan Roof, a 21-year-old white supremacist. The other three victims survived. The morning after the attack, the police arrested Roof in Shelby, North Carolina. Roof confessed to committing the shooting in hopes of igniting a race war. The shooting targeted one of the Republic's oldest black churches, which has long been a sovereign community organization on civil rights. Roof espoused racial hatred, and both the website manifesto, because everyone's got one, published before the shooting, and a journal written from jail afterwards. Photographs posted on the website showed Roof posing with emblems associated with white supremacy, and with the photos of the good old Confederate flag, Terry Blay. Oh, what a shame. He had so much potential as a youth. Now I really want to just do a general attack. If anything, we'll probably just attack here. It's actually... Oh, it's not bad. How do you connect all the way over there? I don't understand. Here, do the best you can. Nice. Brit oh, British Civil War! Oh! I didn't know that was a thing. I know the Brits like... Hating the Scots, so I guess the Brits are Scots. English hates the Brits. English hates the Scottish, I mean. Goodbye, sir. Die now. For our amusement, of course. But you guys did a pretty good job so far. I'm feeling a little frisky here. We might just try a full general attack. Three. Two. Maybe not yet. One. Any extra planes? You can have no. You might just be able to do well, even though we tried that in the end of the last episode, but too well. We should be able to win up here, at least. Slowly pushing in. They have plenty of manpower still. Unfortunate. Equipment-wise, they have a little bit of equipment. Yeah, Scotland's gone again, which you kind of figure, since they have such a bigger population than them, but whatever. Go to Baltimore. Maybe go to Baltimore and go over here and cut them off. Oh, they found us. Oh, they found us. Now, I, I assume we went down here, because it's pretty difficult to fight down here. Let's be realistic. Don't let them move. Movement is not for them. You go there and cut them off, you can. 
You go zoom, 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 zoom. Oh, baby boy. Beautiful. Come crashing around through Pennsylvania. Yes, please. They have 21 divisions left. And we will win this war. By God, I we will win this god dang war. Yeah, I'll short up one more. Go straight for New York City. You guys go straight for Baston. And through... I heard Connecticut is one of the worst states to live in. I don't know. That's just what I've heard. That's a big Connecticut. Do we not have Rhode Island, I guess? I guess not, huh? I always trucking straight to Boston. Carriers. We love them carriers. Bridgeport. Nice. Can she go to... Here, that'd be nice. How much more do we need? Jesus Christ. Force it. Don't let them move. Never mind, we got him. <laughs> They're not defeated. In spite of the sudden declaration of war, leaving our army in a state of panic, we have prepared over San pers persevered, I mean, over Sanders' uh, forces in the security control of Philadelphia. Uh, the whereabouts of the chairman, Bernard Sanders, himself are currently unknown, but it's likely he fled with other high ranking officials. Still, though, the North is more or less pacified, and Sanders can never threaten us again. War between the states? Nice. Honestly, carriers? Um, yeah, pr now nah, we'll wait for that. So, I asked you guys yesterday whether we should do mine or the people versus liberty is paramount, as well as review the separation and a secular America. We've got way more comments to go through as well. But overall, there's actually, like, at the time of this recording, there's equal amount of comments for review the separation and secular America. So, I just went with the one that had no socialism in it. Because when we go secular America, we get socialism and Jeb Bush. He is not a type of guy that loves socialism. So, honestly, I'd, I'd go with either one. So, whenever I play as... I think is it Rumsfeld that goes this way as well? I can't remember. The other guy that goes this way, please remind me, we will do a secular America under him. So, for now, we're going to review the separation. Even though, as someone did say, Jeb... Exclamation mark. Bush is so charismatic that he doesn't need God or anything else to uh, win. But separation church and state has been a failure. The two institutions should work together in an harmony. Our nation was built by and for Judeo-Christians so that their values of tradition, democracy, and freedom could be upheld. With atheism and alternative religions rising in popularity, our government must cement Christianity and the Constitution of the American Republic itself. <clears throat> and regarding this one, uh, this support for both sides, but at the time of this recording, there's quite a bit more power for... Power? More support for... Liberty is paramount. So I apologize if you didn't win for this one. Just remind me the next time we do this. Well, a secular daddy government controlling everything. So I apologize about that, but... The National Security Agency must have reached its guidelines regarding surveillance, although ruin out commies and fascists is necessary for the stable America. The common people should have nothing to fear from the government. President Jeb Bush has made it clear that such programs should always safeguard the liberty of Americans before anything else. Which sounds, doesn't sound like the right one we should, should go with, but... Liberty and review the separation? Why not? So when can we beat the crap out of the Great Lakes? Because my god, do I want to beat the crap out of them. Then again, these guys are led by Warren Buffett, so we'll see what happens. We got plenty of manpower, though. Um, so we don't get cords on these guys, do we? Guys, what are you doing? Uh, there you go. Now I do that. There you go. We got enough army XP, so I do apologize once again if we didn't go the way you wanted. You know, I apologize. <clears throat> When we like them, we like them thick. They're not thick. We don't want them. That's life lessons. Thickness. Oopsie. I spent too much on this. Makes us happy. Usually. Mm. Yeah, plenty of guns, though. Plenty of guns. So we have millies, civvies, civvies. Congress abolishes the separation since Bush left Washington. For that. Oh, so I guess we can't do this one. We have to do the other one. Oh, it's my bad. I guess it makes sense. The governments have been gradually bringing Christian values back to the forefront of American politics. However, only now has Congress debated the separation of church and state according to the Libs, the last hope for the old American democracy. With their debate concluded, the President's administration has decided to amend the Constitution and completely remove any mention of separation of church and state. Now, the two institutions will be intertwined and God can finally look upon the Republic with joy. I didn't realize that we had to do both, but my apologies about that, guys. So remind me to do the secular America and liberty is paramount next time. Monitoring the, of, of the people of America must expand if we were to have a safe and secure nation. Although previous projects such as the Freedom Act and the NSA bolster defenses against ideologies such as fascism and uh, communism, 
Threats of terrorism and violence from even common citizens have arisen. In times such as these, stronger measures must be taken. You hear about that kid, Dylan Roof? He shot up a bunch of black people. Uh, one nation under the chief. Oh. One nation under the flag. Oh, crap. Uh, under the chief? Under the flag. I think we all know where this is going. The President of the American Republic, God bless Jeb Bush, requires more and more power to meet the demands of the people and challenge economies lurking within our government and on the world stage. Although checks and balances should be upheld, it's clear that Jeb must serve as a unifying figure, not a puppet. Yeah, Jeb is daddy. And if you don't agree with daddy, then you gotta chill. What if I read this one? Please go ahead. Yeah, the president has too much control of the founders of the American Republic in 1776 designed our nation's constitution around the principles of checks and balances. A common belief in American nationalism, liberty, and justice should guide us. Not a president with a cult of personality surrounding his every move. What do you mean? Look at that smile. You cannot go wrong with that smile. And as many of you guys did say, please clap. We have so many carriers. Holy crap. That's all like we're making, but whatever. Um, get another line of cruisers going too, just in case. Thank you very much. Bola decrypted. Thank you very much. Mexico done as well. Good, good, good. Because god dang, I'm going to burn one of these states to the ground. Probably all of them. And we're going to enjoy it. Yeah, one nation under the chief. One nation under the Jeb. Yeah, the Jeb is the way to go. Revenge. Oh, uh, we'll see what about that. Traders of the Great Lakes. The Great Lakes Republic wants to be dealt with before the nation is consumed by the ideology of socialism that has gripped the American people's commonwealth and has already has a historical president or precedence in the region. Daddy going to stop him, stomp him out. Oh, move faster. You know, you know what would be kind of cool? What if we converted everybody to motorized? That seems like a radically stupid idea, but who said we were smart? Hmm. Anti-air. Uh, I want to use anti-air, but I want more softies. Maybe Jeb believes in highly motorized divisions. I can run over enemies, all enemies, who dare oppose him. God bless Jeb, for no one else can save America. We need uh, chromium, tungsten, rubber, chromium. Rubber. Tungsten. We'll get to those things and then go and get some more millies. Ooh, another thick tank division. That's what, exactly what we like. 200 PP. Oh, wow. And after this, traders of Illinois. I even though they're gone already, but whatever. Um, I guess if we have to. Also, it auto bypasses. No. Illinois must be reintegrated into the American Republic as there is no need for it to exist as an independent state. Its citizens will understand better it fall to us than the commies. Kami, 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 kamameleon. Alright, so if we have to go to war with those guys, it's probably best if we start researching some good old battleships. Old Union Jack Rays? Interesting. Oh, Union Jackarino. What's the case here? Oh, the, the second is here. They're really red packed. I really don't want to invade them. What the heck? Confederate Freedom Front. It, uh, what? Uh, okay. Happy 2016. God, that was a weird year, wasn't it? Get some more research speed. I think there'll be probably one more episode after this. Maybe we'll just invade the USSR, maybe? Maybe not. Maybe, we'll see what happens. I, it's going to be so, such a pain in the butt to invade them. Like, we can invade, like, through Spain, maybe. Portugal, Spain, Juan Carlos, maybe not. I mean, that's a bit ridiculous. Unless we can form our own faction, regional protection front. Oh, it's Rifat al-Assad. Saddam Hussein. Saddam Hussein did nothing wrong. Except being Amer an enemy of America. That's his crime. That's his crime. And no one forget it. State of Illinois? Why not? Jeb must rule all. Jeb is daddy. There you go. Followed up with Traders of Montana. 
Uh, pretty much. Fascism is anti-American. Although many Montana may claim the government is simply defending a homeland for the people, they are plain and simple fascists, and we will crush your movement just as we did Nazi Germany. God dang Nazis is gonna go bye-bye. Oh, don't tell me that they got all sorts of forces over there. You cab, I'll tell you cab. Five's be nice though. Nice. Who drones? One in doubt, bomb them out. Oh, so you guys are allied, huh? That makes sense. Um. Let's get spread out just a wee bit. The cruiser armor scheme, it's fine. Cool. Three. Two. One. Let's see what type of magic we can cook up here. Did they immediately attack us? No? Okay. Nice. Now you should be able to do that. There you go. Montana's next. Nice. Go in, go in, go in. Leave them nothing and kill them all off. After that, the Lincoln Abomination. Uh, I'll read about this one. Here's the Midwest. The government of the Midwest Union is practically anarchic. We must restore order and bring the Midwest back into the fold as American states. Or states of America. Now, that's beautiful. Illinois will be ours before too long. Whether they like it or not, we're going to go straight through St. Louis, cut them in half, and enjoy watching the corpse burn. <laughs> Sounds really weird. That one got really dark. Ah, reclaiming the colonies, it appears like. Nothing like it. Go, go, go. Inspector Gadget. So, we're going to teach you a lesson here. You ain't going to win. Nice. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. Perfect. Just make sure that they can't rebel or anything like that. So we took that so like it starts starving. We only like it when they starve. Um, since we're here anyway, let's grab some of this. Oh, let's see how far we go. Let me know how far should we go with this campaign. I don't do a world conquest, but if we have to take out the Warsaw Pact, I wouldn't necessarily mind it. Even though it's going to be one grindy f fiesta. So let me know how far we should go in this campaign. Nice, good. Let the infantry just kind of hang out. Let the tanks do all the all dirty work. Because right now, we have no extra main battle tanks, which sucks, but that's okay. Casualty list. 141,000. Not bad versus 5,000. Holy crap. There you go. There you go. Nice. Um, uh, Michigan might be pretty nice. I almost said Utah for some reason. If anything, probably come up here and do it like this. Traverse City. Traders of the Midwest. Lincoln Abomination. The Union of Lincoln exists only to fulfill the mad fantasies of depraved ideologues. The synthesis of Bolshevism and fascism is a betrayal of the American ideal, and defiles the name of the first great Republican Presidente. Let's head up to there. It's fine. Suicide pills are yummy. 
Big yum. Big yum. One, two, big boy yum. Nice. Oh, are you gonna die? Oh, die for amusement, please. Yes, thank you. I would like to do a general attack against these guys, but we're just still not strong enough yet. They have quite a few divisions. No, with the tanks, I don't mind doing it with the tanks. They look pretty good. So. Nice. Get all the way up here so we can get all the way around here so we can have one solid front line. Nice. Drain them of all their strength. How much manpower do they have? Quite a bit. These guys don't, though. It's nice to see. Um, 2018. Eh. Got plenty of naval XP. Can't, don't want to put that on there yet, so we'll wait. Just a wee bit, though. Chairs Midwest. Cool. Survive the, the Midwest. Uh, the Midwest, due to the governor's lackluster activity to help the economy thrive, is in a state of complete chaos. Oh, look at that. <clears throat> All culture and industry must be properly maintained now that we've fully integrated them. Nice, nice, nice. We just want to get to Milwaukee. That's, that's honestly what I really just want overall. Milwaukee. Cut them off. Oh, the capital is Milwaukee. Yay! Thanks for Milwaukee, guys. So now you guys can hold. And this is much better, actually. This is a lot better. Um, you guys just do this. Go through, like, Wisconsin. Which, the last time I was there, was really depressing, but whatever. Do we have an expiration date on this? Oh, no. 2016 Louisiana floods? In August 2016, the uh, prolonged rainfall in southern parts of the state of Louisiana resulted in catastrophic flooding that submerged thousands of houses and businesses. Louisiana's governor, John Bell Edwards, called the disaster a historic unprecedented flooding event and declared a state of emergency. Many rivers and waterways, particularly the Amite and Comite rivers, reached record levels and rainfall exceeded to many inches and in multiple parishes. Because of the large number of homeowners without flood insurance that were affected, the federal government is providing disaster aid through their Federal Emergency Management Agency. The flood has been called the worst American natural disaster since the Commonwealth Hurricane Sandy in 2012. 13 deaths have been reported as a result of flooding. Tragic. We should have had insurance, I guess. Yeah, we can't win against these guys, which sucks, but whatever. Uh, Midwest Union, Great Lakes, do that. That should definitely help us out. I want you guys to just roll, 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 roll. Because we're losing quite a few guys to take out the Midwest Union. But these guys should be losing pretty easily here later on. Improve heavy batteries. Nice. That's what we've been waiting for. Uh, it's about two. Uh, I'm also wait for the radar station. Nah, no, we don't. We don't need to wait for it. Going to start upgrading these bad boys. Trace. Four, fire control. Three is honestly pretty gar gosh darn good. Uh, go three. You know the heavy battery? That's all the heavy batteries we're going to throw on there. Go two. Anti-air and then secondary batteries. Yes. And get uh, more anti-air, I guess. Nice. Uh, do that. It. Honestly, I'd love to attack right here. St. Paul. I'm gonna sickle them maybe. Have a good time. There we go. Look at that. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Minneapolis. Take Minneapolis. If you could capitulate them, that'd be great. Oh, they're doing force defense? Oh, yes, they are. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Traders of Utah. Mormons of Utah thought entitled independence ever since the beginning of the 19th century. Well, god dang it, we got them all. Now that the misguided dream has been made a reality, it's time to reintegrate them into the U.S. and crush their independent status. 
Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Integrate them all, please. Thank you. Look, recruitment. Don't really care. And colony and territories. Very nice. Um, good luck up here, guys. Going to probably need it. Just like y'all. Not too shabby, if I do say so myself. Adaptable is very good, actually. Oh, Utah and... Uh, yeah. They kind of dead already. It's kind of weird to say, but whatever. It's alright, it's alright. Cool. Um, plane wise, yeah, we could use more planes, more plainy, plainy, planies. More infrastructure as well, because I'm sure we're starving just a wee bit. Oh, but more of this too, yes, please. Uh, tanks. Yeah, I love them tanks. Got a lot more factories, though. That's very nice. Improved drones. Proof oh, way more fighters. Traders of Utah, very good. Go and make some more chromium, because my gosh, we're going to need it. And we'll get a lot more factories too once we like actually acquire everything here, so. Uh, traders of Arizona. There's no reason for Arizona to be independent. The status only grants Mexico more bargaining power than America itself, and could possibly lead to annexation in the future. We must stop this and invade Arizona to restore justice to the state. Oh, absolutely. A Republic of Jordan. Nice. Cruiser hull, huh? Wait, might as well wait. Actually, no, I'll just get, go ahead and do this one. My cruiser 2s aren't good enough, but whatever. It's fine. More than enough army XP. Dual do purpose. Do purpose. Let's do a purpose. Anti sub stuff. And then. Throw some planes in the air. There you go. I guess you know dockyards too, so. Oh, well, now we get future satellites, so it's fine, whatever. Whatever. 2019. Extraction. Be good. Sonar is nice. Even more anti sub stuff. It's very nice. You guys are very nice. Aircraft carrier fighter, good, good, good. We need a lot of chromium. Holy crap! You can't, what the heck are you up to? The queen is just going nuts, though. She's allied with. Oh, huh. Traders of Arizona, Operation Blue Dawn. That sounds awesome. Yeah, let's do that one next. Operation Blue Dawn shall put an end to the traitorous communists who have destroyed the West with a plague of communist ideology and complete social liberation. The people of the UAPR are begging to break free from the yoke of socialism. Oh, you bet they are. Passive defense, thank you. As long as they don't go for my American states, we'll be okay. Oh, we have four carriers, two destroyers, and like six light cruisers. That's a bit too many carriers for my taste, but whatever. Oh my gosh, we're out of so much chromium. Oh, so bad. More heavy ship hulls, please. So I'm gonna max this stuff out. How fast can you, can you make these? Oh, really? Quite quite quickly. I'm impressed. Look at all the stuff we have here. This is nice. Motorized. Well, you're already thick. Oh, I love them thick. G-Boys are very nice, too. We love boys? Young boys? Eh, anyways. Um... Yeah, they'd be alright. They do be alright. I do want to make these guys 40 combo with, which is absolutely stupid, but... Actually, I might throw some other stuff on there, too, instead of that stuff, so... Alright, let's see what happens. As much as I want to take out Utah, Utah's already dead. God dang it. I want to kill them off. Why? It takes so long. 
Why do you take so long? I just want to make big navy. Big navy, big fun. Actually, the, uh, the AI doesn't really make it too much of a navy in Red World Fan Fork here, so. But Operation New England. Chomsky's government may have claimed to uphold democracy when it was first created, but now with or without him, the American people's commonwealth is a bastardization of any true democratic ideal that may have existed in the first place. Operation New England will restore the real democracy to the Northeast. The good thing we already got him. Uh, tactical bombers. Are we using... Yeah, we're using attack bombers. We must be through that one. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice. Like that. Yeah, them things cost quite a bit of chromium. Make a lot more stuff here. Infrastructure is going to be super helpful. Especially since we're running out of supplies anyway, so. Fine, go and make, 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 make. There we go. Nice. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, after that, um, after you. I'm not sure how much damage we can actually do with rocket artillery. Let's get, let's work on our artillery for now. Nice. Maybe we'll get some mechanized. We'll see. Blue Dawn, Operation New England. So after that, that's pretty much it for the focus tree. We got stuff on the right side, though, which would be good to do as well. Come on, let's go, let's go. Directed nationalism? Oh, yes. Oh, we're actually losing nationalism support, huh? Why is that? Oh. Alright, whatever. Oh! You're actually all in the same faction, huh? Well, that's the case. Ooh, that's a really slim board we have, though. Hmm. Democratic League. So they're in the same faction. Alaska. Australian Confederation. Canada. Hawaii. Hmm. Don't get me wrong. I want to like these guys, too. But maybe... Do that. Or... I did not want to get involved with like this. But, you know, if it happens, it happens. And if we get to kill off some Canadians too, I mean, my god, that sounds so American. Uh, really crappy front line we're making, but whatever. I don't want to fight Kamala Harris through that god awful jungle area. Um, you guys come over here. Something like that. Force rotation, nice. And you know what? They want to attack us? That's fine too. Well, you guys are going to get completely encircled here if you come that direction, so. I'm going to attack them first. We do pretty well here. If we move fast enough, they won't kill us off. Oh, that's a long time. I'm going to be killed off. Not bad. That's pretty good. Anti-Radical League. I mean, helps if you just overrun them. We're getting lucky that they haven't joined the faction. Of course, we are still, like, isolated and stuff, technically, so. We've killed off almost 300,000 people. Don't give him a single inch. Operation New England? Nice. Well, I guess it's time to do this up over here. Carriers! Nampa? Nampa know-how? No, that's Napa. Napa. APC territories? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Go, 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 go. My goodness, these guys cannot keep up with these guys. 
400,000 have died. That's not enough. They can't even get back in their own territory. I love it. Portland, you can hold out. Wow, you can hold out against a lot of divisions, can't you? Good. They're literally doing like force defense, I think. I could be wrong about that, but still. Got him almost. Wish I didn't call these guys in though. Australians should not be getting involved in this, but I guess it makes sense why they get did. Yakima. Oh! Okay, we'll get Australia too! Two for one. -er. I approve of this message. Well. Not bad. Not bad whatsoever. I honestly didn't think we'd be getting Australia in this episode, but... Looks very nice. America's coming back, though. Is there any Wimmer Chromium and Rubber? Supplies have probably got off or through here. And then, I'm just by Navy, fighter baiting. We like baiting people. A few more things of fighters, nice. You need more guns for reals? No, you don't. Okay. Uh, get some more of that. Get some more of uh, that. I went down making more baiting. Oh, we need to get more baiting battle tanks, anyways, too. Oh. That's alright. And here we go. Kamala Harris has got to go. Oh, they like no one on the border either. One or two million manpower. We'll see how long that lasts. They lost 45,000 to us. Just us. Not bad. They lost almost 90,000. Wow. 122,000? Not bad, not bad. I mean, we lost 20,000 ourselves, but... And we have most of Nevada under us. You know, not most of the population, but not bad. Oh, tasty. Oh, oh, baby. Nasty. Barbados. Nice. Grenada. Nice. Very nice. I wish we did get another research lab, but whatever. How do these guys suck so much? We don't have that much of an Air Force either. We're not doing that much damage. A moderate amount, I'd say. Wait, what? Oh, hello. Oh, boy, I don't want to be fi Well, found a way to get into uh, the UK now. We'll find, find a way to get into Europe. Nope, everyone else? Sure. Not a good pack sounds good to us. Nice. Phoenix will be ours. Basically killed a million of them off. Basically. Morocco? Display Navy? Oh, we're definitely going to need that now. Um, I think I'll end it there, though. Because we can't do this one. The U United States are back? Not quite. We're close, though. But I guess, uh, foreign recognition? Bush recognition. Many countries still fail to recognize us as a rightful successor to the U.S., hence limiting our influence on the world stage. As controls of the D.C. and the heirs of the old Republican Party, we must continue to push for recognition to make the world understand what this, that socialists in the Northeast and West are nothing but power-hungry breakaways. Pretty much, man. Old friendships. Preferring Canada? Well, they already declared war on us, so I guess we gotta go new friendships. But hey, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I guess I'll see you tomorrow when we're gonna have a good old jab time and try to destroy our enemies in the old UK, and probably kill all the Canadians too, because who likes Canadians? Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great, 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 great Jeb Bush rest of your day.